Hello, friends. So today uh, we are again going to talk about what's happening. There's so much chaos and uh, uh, so much, like uh, Sanya said, ambiguity around the things that are happening. But there's also some good news that's coming. You see, uh, I heard, I saw a few videos on uh, the social media and YouTube that Sahil Chaudhary, he is. I mean, I think he's out, he's safe. He did uh, come up with a video that he said that uh, he, I mean, uh, he was not so clear, he did not have the clarity on Sushant Singh Rajput case and the, the authorities at Mumbai helped him. So, I mean, I, I think let's stand by him. I mean, let's stand by his reasoning, his passion, his judgment, whatever he was doing before, he had good intentions, whatever he's doing now, he still has good intentions and just support him in every way. Did you get to see that news, Sanya, about Sahil Chaudhary? Yeah, I did. Uh, I did see and that was a really a good one, actually. Mm. Yeah, because uh, everyone was so much concerned about him. So we hope that he is safe. And uh, I mean, it's important to do whatever is required to stay safe. That is also a very important thing. Absolutely. So, yeah. And uh, the next thing everyone is talking about is the AIMS report. Right. You see, uh, like, I don't think it has come out yet, but the different like media is presenting it in different ways some are saying that uh, they are ruling out murder some are saying they are not ruling out murder so i mean i would just ask everyone to like let's stay calm and let's wait for the report to come out let's see what they are what it says because yes people have been asking to file the like the section uh, 302 ipc and uh, they're asking CBI to file the case under Section 302, where it uh, is like, who oh, it has to be murder, not abetment of suicide. Uh, what do you think about that, Sanya? Yeah, actually, I have been, uh, you know, since morning and I have a lot of time right now. So I'm, I'm updating myself on this account. Uh, there are three, four things which has happened just in about two, three days. So if you begin with this about Sushant, then we can go to other chapters also. But with Sushant, I feel that what I felt today morning when I heard people were sending a lot of these tweets that, my God, um, the AIMS report has come on a negative note. But actually, I want to let everybody know what the little I have understood is that, that yet there is not a very a uh, formal statement from the aims which has come in it is dr sudhir who is going to be formally telling in the evening and and the other media which is you know abp news and ndtv and all the others i have no idea how these people function but this is always about trps and what kind of sponsorships and money they get and accordingly they try to uh, you know, uh, mutate the news. And unfortunately, this is the hard reality we live in, in the journalism, world of journalism today. And like people like Lovely and me and myself, we are not at all journalists. We, we can call ourselves as humane activists who are trying to probe into a matter which is definitely of a concern of every common man which is living in the world. Of course, India is, we are all Indian-centric people. So that is why it's even extra concern for us that what's going on in law and order, what is the ethical side of journalism, all these things, uh, questions are being raised. And when it comes to AIMS report, I do not buy anything which is being said and done until there is a formal statement spoken by Dr. Sudhir Bhandari, who's going to be saying in the evening. So I would just say, wait and watch, keep your hand on your heart and just let your heart pump as hard as can, but make sure that you guys co uh, com completely uh, do not get disheartened or do not get negative. And if I may say so, that to our, uh, you know, um, that uh, that it becomes a report which is not what we are looking for, but it is just a part of the investigation. AIMS a report is not the ultimate uh, decision maker for making this uh, incident go further. There is a two parties, very important parties which are concerned, that is the CBI and the AIMS report, but CBI is doing its own report. So we have to understand that we have to see the uh, case as an overview, not as just one side. But of course, if one side falls down for 
uh, this, we have to also see the main CBI. What have they taken? What kind of uh, eyewitnesses have they got? What sort of investigation and reports they have come? So this has to be coming together and then come across with a final statement. But if we just focus on aims, this is not okay that, uh, you know, that we have to follow the journal journalists because they are not really doing their job as they should, it appears, because there are so much of difference of opinion, even in the journalism, which has been spoken. So that means there is something wrong. So let's not look at them. Let's stay put. Let's wait for the formal statement. Yeah, I mean, I completely agree with you. I mean, as we know, the statement hasn't come out. And for people to come out and say that Ames has ruled out the murder angle is wrong. I wouldn't mean we should wait. Yes. You should wait for that. Yeah. So, and the other part is, yes, that, I mean, how the nation, I, I wouldn't say even nation, the people all over the world have joined together to like show how they're feeling and their emotions for Sushant Singh Rajput is amazing. I mean, I call that victory in itself because after a long time, we have seen this kind of movement. And uh, so let's talk about the hunger strike. I feel that the hunger strike I mean, it scares the establishment because, I mean, it means that people have been moved so much because of an event that they take that step. And so many people all over the world doing this is like, I mean, I get goosebumps. So, Sanya, how are you feeling? Share. <laughs> I mean, it's divine. I just feel that if you're doing it for some someone and something, you should share. I will let you speak. Great, thanks. Actually, lovely. You know, um, you won't believe it when I. Oh, I get I get tears in my eyes because when I actually, um, uh, you know, thought that I'm going to do that, I've never done this for anyone. Will you believe it? I have never done this for anyone. This is unbelievable for me that I this thought just creep up in my mind. But of course, I saw even in India when Mr. Uh, the the uh, you know Mr. Um, Ganesh and Ankit and and I I definitely got inspired from them too. But at the same time that I said that will I be will I do it like I but I didn't even have the doubt and now I'm seeing that uh, you know this is this is something I feel I mean I feel so good that I took this decision because this sh this feels so real for me that I in my heart believe that this boy Sushant Singh Rajput has been wronged. And this is my energy kicking for the sake of the spirit of the person that actually sacrificed his life for the higher purpose. Because this boy was a very, 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 uh, with his simplicity and with his intelligence, the combination is so cutthroat that it is unbelievable for people like us who are, uh, you know, I'm a... I'm a you know human activist from many years. So to 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 connect with a guy who is who is not even uh, available physically on this planet, I can imagine that we all are not. Uh, uh, this is not a mental case going on. We are not insane people. We are people who believe in humanity. We are people who connect with the good things. And you will believe that we are not one or two. We are millions of those people. That means the world is a good place to live in. And that is what brings me hope and joy. That is what I feel that my kids, we will restore a beautiful planet for them. So I'm very glad when I die, I'm going to leave a good place for my kids. That brings me a fantastic strength in me to follow this case so blindfully, you know, so strong that I've left everything. I've taken off from my office. Like yesterday, I was off from my office Friday. And unfortunately, it was Saturday, Sunday. Otherwise, I would have taken off Monday, Tuesday. You know, if it was a working day, I would have taken off because I want to focus on this strength. Because for me, this is not just a one day activity. It is for the generations. We are laying fabric for the generations to let people know to fight for the truth and justice. So this is not just about one person. It is about our future. It is about our youth. That is why I can get that strength in me. Yeah, that, that's what you have to understand that I always say this, but I keep saying this when we say justice for Sushant Singh Rajput and we are doing this for Sushant Singh Rajput, we are not actually doing it for him. He is gone. He His 
mean he is free whatever had to happen he lived his life and he's done we are doing it for ourselves our loved ones we are doing this so that when my daughter goes out in this world and tries to make her dreams come true she live she's living i can sleep at night that she's living in a safer a better world That's so true. that is why we are fighting for justice that is why we are fighting so sanya this is mean everybody talks about this mean other incidents that happen when you, whenever you stand up for a cause people question you okay why this cause why not the other cause so yes we we cannot talk about justice without talking about the other rape victim recently yes. so how i think about it is that you know when it's not easy to stand up and raise your voice i mean i know that because i told you before also that i have been doing my own small small things but to raise my voice on social media to make this clear that you know i'm standing up for sushant singh rajput and i will do whatever it takes till he gets justice i will follow the case it's not easy I mean my family my kids are all feeling it you understand that I mean they yes. also sometimes tell me that you know what don't you feel you're too much involved they support me completely but so any time I mean anyone tries to compare and say that oh you're standing up for him don't you think she deserves justice you're standing up for him don't you think he deserves justice i always say that you know everyone deserves justice mm-hmm. i am of the belief that everyone deserves justice so if you can stand up for this person this girl this kid this boy anywhere in the world please raise your voice and i'll pray that you have the courage and the persistence to take it through because and I, if i can i will support you so this shaming each other for oh you're standing up for him because he's a celebrity and not standing for someone who is poor i would always say that in this case also I mean there is another female victim who was I mean there's similar circumstances if we think about it hmm. so hmm. what is your I mean you must be having friends who are saying that why this case why now right i have had this arguments million times with my own family members and uh, others around also and it is not an argument actually it is a very good question put to people like us or people themselves like even in the media the a lot of people are sending me mails and uh, you know a, a sort of feedback that uh, i i think it's great that you're doing for sushant but why don't you do it for manisha why don't you do it for xyz so i always uh, you know my point of view as you just said that that everybody has a limited time and energy to put now everybody is looking for resonance as sushant said everyone each one of us like i called you i didn't call varun kapoor i have access to him i didn't call xyz i have access to many people but i called you and i said let's do something because there's always a resonance there's always a thing that you can talk without even discussing things you understand each other there's always so with with if i may say with sushant i have no clue that resonance just came and became it was nothing to do with his celebrity status to be honest with you he was not my favorite actor he wasn't my favorite actor i just saw his two movies but i liked the boy i really liked the boy even in those two movies i just told my daughter of course i don't think he's one of the best actors ex- existing on this planet but i like him i don't know why so it is just that resonance of that to that person and then when you like somebody and something goes wrong you connect with that to your personal uh, day to day affairs and that was happened with sushant singh rajput and lot of people connected with him fortunately he probably is a divine soul when it comes to manisha yes she is a female i'm a female i connect her to that level too i mean i can i have a daughter so i can i definitely feel her pain i definitely if i was available in in india i'm a mad woman i would have gone i'm a mad woman you know so but i'm right now i'm not physically present in india definitely i feel for her i have written some texts on her also but as you said you cannot do everything one person can't do everything one person should do the things that one can so it is not about as you very rightly said lovely it is not about shaming each other it is about raising each other up yeah trying just, to i love that yes you mean know? if you choose to stand for any small thing we should support and in whatever little way we can we should support each other because that's very important for democracy that's very important that I mean 
such a thing such shameful and disgusting thing should never ever happen again and only if they know that people will raise their voice as i said that it scares them it scares the establishment for sure the other thing that i would mean i mean it's it would be very sad that if if by any chance something happens I mean and if it takes too long and people don't get punished like we are hoping in sushant singh rajput case but i would like to share my idea of like victory through what i have lived with you sanya so i mean like everyone so i'm i'm sharing this like it just came to my heart so i'm sharing this with you uh in 2019 i was uh, diagnosed with stage 4 colon cancer and uh, in january so the doctors almost said that I mean obviously it's hard I mean and we don't know what will happen mm -hmm. so everybody said to me that you know you're a fighter you'll fight and so i i thought yes i'm a strong woman i believe in living my life mm -hmm. and i lived through the chemo and everything but you know what i learned through it is mm -hmm. that it doesn't mean that if you're a brave person you will be cured and you will not die that is not victory how you live your life is victory and that is also what sushant singh rajput told us if we think that because he died he in some way failed no he lived his life I mean i got that message from when he passed away also that the way he lived his life the way he stood up for someone he showed us that that is victory so in this case also we the people we have to show I mean the way the people have united and stood up for him mm. it is like a victory so we have to show that we will stand up for him mm. till the end mm. and we have been empowered and we understand our power now so mm. going ahead we understand who are the fake heroes who are real heroes we are not going to support all these bollywood people whom we think that have done wrong things and who support mean who make this industry a bad place tell me what you think about like in that sense because every other day people get disheartened so mm. we shouldn't we shouldn't i am so uh, glad that i met you lovely because you in my <laughs> you make me cry because with 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 happiness i mean i'm so proud of you because i mean i didn't know about this but it is such an amazing thing that you uh, that you because i can imagine that you you understand this whole process because you you are a winner by by nature so you do understand all this right you're living your life every day with a with a sort of a uh, edge you're living you know how to live on the edge so you understand this language and i that's why i, I don't know i was so uh, i was so connected with you so now i know like why and the just recently this year in the i mean uh, you are a warrior by by nature i can see that but in the um, you know february in the march this year my mother got fourth stage cancer in the stomach and i have been fighting her cancer along with her for all these months and really really you know the when one cancer comes to one person the whole family is affected that you know it already yeah. and so so it's like the everybody is going in the sickness for a different reason and so we all went through that sickness and i know so i you know so i i can imagine that that connect that i had of course but when i when you're talking about this whole the process the process of doing things the process of how you receive anything is very important we should never uh, really become too happy or too sad i'm not going into any spiritual talk here but i must say as you very pointfully raised a uh, raised a point here that in case even if because you me millions of others who we are fighting for we are actually fighting from our homes we are not really sitting there who are actually doing the task we don't even know so all the judgments and decisions which are going to come is from some other party some other people set of people who are working for this and in the faith we believe that truth is going to win in the faith we believe that these guys are going to make sure the right thing wins but in case as you said in case the right is not winning because of some hurdles 
whatever the hurdles may be. And we know, I don't want to, uh, you know, assume or, uh, you know, this, that's not worth it. But whoever it is, it's Bollywood, it's politicians, whoever are the culprits, they are going to be punished, I believe. If not now, but the trail has begun. The trail has begun. The awareness has come. Yes. People in the villages have started to understand. The fact that boy, the little boy who ran from the uh, you know village to talk about Manisha shows that there is courage in every little human being. And we've already lit the light. We've already, there's always a fire going on. So this fire is going to burn these people down one day or the other. I believe it. And that's what, as you're saying, so we should not dishearten ourselves. We should not get disheartened, whatever yes. may be the result. Because as you rightly said, this is the journey, which is the most important. And we are already victorious. We are already raised the victory. You rightly said, we are already the winners, whatever now the final, as I want to put it across, as Gita says, don't think about results. Think about the act you're doing. Because in the act, there is winning and losing. And we are all winners. We all believe that Sushant Singh is, uh, you know, not a coward. He's not a coward. Yeah. And that will not change. We, you know, yeah. are, he's got a... So that is always... That's a winning, you know. The case is already made. But now it's only those people who are sitting there have to just set it right. And if they have the courage, they will do. If they don't have the courage, they will not do. But that doesn't mean that the right becomes wrong and the wrong becomes right. So... I would say, as you write in your words, we are the winners. Don't worry about the result. If the result is on our side, we say that we, we have been lucky. But if the result is not on the side, th that means the march is on. That means we have to still continue fighting. Yes. We cannot keep shut. We continue fighting. If not, if Sushant case gets over, we continue fighting for other cases. But we don't keep shut. Not every individual should always raise voice. That is the thing we have to learn from this case. I know. Yeah, it's just that you have to understand that it's a long battle. And I just feel that people to stay in this and keep on like, and it, I feel that there are more and more people joining every day. It just, it moves me. I mean, I think about it. And that is why I talked about this because again, because of the aims result that's going to, whatever report is going to come out today. Many people are like angry or agitated or hoping that we all hope that it comes in our favor but even if by any chance don't take it as like we've lost or anything just think that we have to keep doing what we are doing and with added vigor yes. and with more passion because yes. little bit more passion is required i remember like uh, Sushant Singh Rajput's movie now, I watched a lot of them. I watched all of them. <laughs> and in Dhoni, so it's even Dhoni's philosophy and he, because we didn't know Dhoni before Sushant Singh Rajput played him that the way. So he said that we kind of need to celebrate the losses also, like when we lose the battle, because that tells us that we are not yet there and we know that what we have to do now added vigor more enthusiasm so very, it's just that very and, true uh, go ahead very true and i definitely see that as i think once i heard sushant saying that we don't we learn the formulas of success but we nobody talks about how do you deal the feelings in life I think this is the best time with Sushant Singh Rajput can allow us to learn the failing, even if we get some hiccups. We must celebrate those hiccups because we are going with our belief system. And our belief says that we are the winners. We are the winners. You know, we are working on the truth. Yeah. I have I have goosebumps. I mean, every time like somebody was, uh, I was chatting with someone and he was telling me that, you know, I feel like this, I feel like that. I say, you know what, this might, however it might sound, but I would always go and turn on one of his interviews and listen to him. And it will feel as if he's answering all your questions. I mean, he chose these movies. Like just now you said, Chichore, how to deal with the, when you lose. So everything, all his movies. And one of my favorites is actually Beomkesh Bakshi yes. because of the movie. But you should mean for all the people, if you haven't seen him promote that movie, you should go and see him promote that movie. It's a movie about a detective 
but the way he talks about byomkesh bakshi satyanveshi like somebody who is there to explore the truth and in that course explore himself it's so spiritual I mean how how can somebody talk about a detective thriller movie that way I mean it was only his perspective I mean the way he used to talk and it's like so nice to connect with you sanya and we'll connect with you again you know i today again i was uh, watching one of his things where he got a uh, i think a true star award like I mean a well deserved like there are and somebody who was giving the award also said that in this world of plastic we have very few real people and sushant yes. singh rajput is one of them yeah. and when he came to take that award this is what he said he said it is difficult I mean he was quoting someone Yeah. but uh, it was i mean obviously he resonated with that thought so he said that it is difficult to become a good actor but it is even more difficult to become a good human yes. and i hope that i become both before i leave this place beautiful so beautiful. and believe me guys when it comes to people like now i know we are talking now we all are going from one phase to another before we were very emotional for uh, sushant and it these emotions should invoke our goodness these emotions should not invoke our anger and say that we will kill them we will do this this is not the way you can actually run life if sushant was alive i am sure he would have forgiven everybody yes. and i think th- this is how we have to work we don't have to show that if somebody is killing so we can also be the killers we have to show that if somebody is killing we do not approve of it but it doesn't mean that we have to take the same path we can take some other path which can make more and we can go in abundance and abundance of positive thoughts abundance of love abundance of kindness abundance of tolerance this is where we need to somehow i'm not saying i'm perfect but this is what as you said this journey is teaching me tolerance this journey is actually teaching me my own side of what i can be i can be more than myself and this is what this journey is teaching me and this is what we have to aspire from this case of sushant singh rajput who actually brings out love and divinity in each one of us who allows us to connect he doesn't tell us to not connect look at this power that we all from the world around have mm. connected for one cause that means we need to connect and how can we connect through love through understanding through resonance we should not batter each other we should accept each other in tolerance and try to show how we can move in justice and truth this is how we can do so but let's not pull each other down let's not pull each other down let's raise each other let's love each other let's support each other and let's not be jealous of each other everybody has spot everyone this life you know when you were the, you were one of the millions of sperms and you came and you became in your so you guys are we all are winners you know not everybody not the dogs and cats couldn't do it we did it for god's sake we are winners by birth my dear friends so i want everybody to understand that nobody can batter us only our own thoughts so let's keep our thoughts positive and move ahead march ahead for the things you believe in that's what sushant did sushant believed in his dreams and he lived his dreams and this is what we need to do that's what sushant has left with us sushant is not just an human being for us he will he'll become a kind of a historian figure for us that we have to march ahead with our belief system which belief system is inclusive he included everybody he i remember i saw his one uh, video like when i heard that he has been paying so much of money to these sufferers in uh, kerala and and in in the west uh, you know guwahati and all those areas i was so crying because i said he never even told anybody so yeah. i would i am that's that's something i learned i said let's not boost our egos this yeah. and you know what he had I was shocked to know. I cried one full day to understand this boy. He used to whatever awards he used to get. He had this grave in his house, and he used to dump that. He used to stay. He used to tell that this is my ego grave. He puts all his awards, all his appreciations in that grave to show that one day I'm going to be gone in this grave. so i'm not going to boost my ego if somebody says oh wow you're so good if i'm good it's by grace of god i am here to do my task 
and I have got the energy to do that class. It is only because I have got the grace. Today I'm having, if I was sick today, how could I sit with you and talk to you? If you are sick, in spite of your sickness, somewhere upstairs is giving you energy to even talk to me. That means you're blessed. Yes. I am yes. blessed. So we cannot do, we cannot even lift a finger without that grace which we have. So we must always forget that we are nobodies. We are just means to that end. And that yes. mean is what we can only share with others. And that mean should be pure. That mean should be positive. This is all I would say to my friends that don't worry about being disheartened. Embrace the disheartened results. If we in case get, just move forward and keep believing. Because Sushant Singh was not a coward. He was a guy full on. He lived life to the fullest. And I believe even if God comes to me and tells me, I would not believe. That's what I can tell you. My trust and my belief is too strong. So I know our Sushant Singh Rajput has gone as a brave soldier that he wants that from us and all the others. And we would want to just continue this journey. It is not the, it is just the beginning. It's a tip of the iceberg. You know, this is all the tip of the iceberg. Our journey is in the process, as you said. So we continue. Don't worry about the results. You know, the fact yeah. that imagine yesterday in Jantar Mantar, so many people came. And you know what happened there? Mr. Ganesh was talking about that there were police who, was, who were f following these two boys. 50 people were following. So what was happening? What's going on? What is showing? These people who are the establishment people, they are full of fears. Full of fears yes. because of the act of doings they are doing. They are not in the side of truth. Because if I'm in the truth, I have no fear at all. I don't even believe, I don't even want anyone, if some, if two people listen to me, I become very happy that somebody is listening to me. I don't care if it's two million or two. For me, those two people is like two million. Because if I can change one person's life and move yes. it to the direction of positivity, I've done my deal, you know. This is how I see. So for me, yeah. one human being is 10 million. You know, if one like I, I get yeah. a like. I say it's a 10 million likes for me because I moved one person's heart and that's enough. This is my deal in life. So that is what you have to see. Don't be greedy. Don't be jealous. Don't, don't ever compare yourself with anybody. You have your place in this world and make that place happen. Do not see others. Only see others for inspiration. If anybody you can see is only get inspired. Don't get disheartened. Anything which is disheartening you, ignore that. This is how I would say. I know, yeah, because that makes you weak. I mean, we have to understand that that if it's opposite of positivity, it in some way it makes us weak. And that is what our opponents, our enemy wants. And we have to show them that nothing will make us weak. And so Shan Singh Rajput, I always say this, that he himself, he always talked about faith, like science and faith. He said that both go hand in hand. Both are means of investigation. I say that he himself is a faith that is binding so many and connecting so many people together. And he has become a means to the truth. Yes. And just like you said, I if we fight something for very long, there is this thing, there's a danger, there's a risk that we become that. So we should always be very careful that we don't become what we hate. Like yes. we, we do not want to exclude people. We do not want to bring people down. We do not want to call people names. So we are fighting against that and yes. we shouldn't become that. Yes. So we should always remember that we are fighting against something. And that is why positivity is so important. Yes. That is why this, I mean, a hunger strike is such a powerful thing. And we we'll keep checking with you, Sanya. <laughs> and it was so nice to connect with you. I mean. I mean, you get this aura. I mean, you're doing it. And I just, I am so moved. You, I cannot express, but how so many people around the world I mean, till now it has only happened because of God, religion. You understand that people yes. fast, isn't it? Yes. Or yes. Gandhi G has done it like in the past. But I mean, this, yeah. this is something magic and divine. Yes. So thank you so much for joining and the people are all giving you good wishes okay. and hope you keep doing good. We will again connect with you in a few hours and see how you are doing. Okay. Great. Lovely. I lovely. Thank I'm you. so grateful to have uh, connected with you. Thank you so much. Lots of love. Thank Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye.